morning everybody. Today I am doing my weekly plan with me. I'm doing this a little bit early this week because we're going uh, to visit my parents over the weekend. Um, but I guess that's it. I'm filming on Friday. This is this week and it's, uh, I'm, I'm feeling down on myself about it because like none of these things are like, checked off and it feels just like a jumble that I don't even know what is in here as far as like a pile of to-do tasks. Um, Oh yeah, no, that's not a check mark. That's a little down migration arrow when I realized that I wrote the same thing twice. So yeah, um, I think the first thing I really need to do uh, that I'm thinking about is to take a lot of this stuff and literally like move it. I got a checklist one in here. Yeah. <sighs> move it to like a, it's okay. You're not a bad person. <laughs> spread and uh, get rid of that. So I just, I pulled out a couple stickers. I've decided to be a little bit trite and go for something with like words on it. I've got this. I still haven't used this. I think I showed it to you when I was doing some like summer garden themed spreads and then I never actually used any of them. It's really hard to use happy planner stickers in a pocket size. Anyway, I'm going to pull out this little fresh start sticker and some washi and decorate it and make it look pretty because I was realizing I haven't really like, decorated uh, a page. I've been very utilitarian I think lately. I was realizing or remembering that back when I was in like traveler's notebooks I used to um, pre-decorate pages. I would like toss a little washi down so that it would be ready um, and I would like never make any kind of spread that didn't have even just like a little bit washy on it. And I don't know, like it's not, there's, there's no wrong way to do any of this. Um, and the nice thing that like I use printables now since I'm in a ring planner. Uh, so I don't I can need to do layouts the same way I used to. So that's part of it. I don't have to like draw things out. All right, well, that's just taking up a whole bunch of the page. I didn't even realize how much of the page that was gonna take up, but that's fine. Um, let's grab like a highlighter, purple. Every day is a fresh start. I um, I don't usually go for like trait things. They feel really fake to me. Um, I'm just gonna, yeah, nothing even goes at the top. I just always highlight the top row, even though that's, yeah, like I said, there's not really a header for this, because, like, this is what's on there for wording. Um, I'm gonna move some of this stuff that's on my weekly that doesn't need to get done this week, basically, or next week. Um, and then, like, yeah, move on from there, so... Okay. So now that all of that stuff has been moved, uh, these two stickers were from this other Happy Planner book. This is a, a vibe that I don't usually go for. I'm trying to be super girl boss, but I don't have a separate girl boss sticker book because that's kind of dumb too. I can, can I just say that like, why foil the word looks instead of bright? Anyway, this is some like shop stuff that is also clogging up this list. So between the things here that either don't really need to get done in a specific week or whatever, I'm thinking just like the, the volume of to do's on my weekly was overwhelming me. So I'm thinking I'm maybe even just toying around with the idea of moving my to do list, like non date specific to do list to the front section of my planner where things like yeah, my waiting on my um, project lists and stuff like that are 
Um, so when I need something to do, I can go to the front here, which is actually where I'm going to put it. Um, and then use my weekly to sort of track what I did get done. And also, of course, keep track of things that are date specific, um, which is fine. It's a bit overstuffed. Yeah. All right. Um, so that's in here um, for now. And I think I might just stick with a little flag on it so that I don't lose it. Not that I'm really looking at my flags, but I have a couple of them here. The bottom of active things. That was the idea. Um, all right, so now we can actually do the planning. So like I said, I'm, I'm filming this on Friday, so I still have the weekend. Oops, sorry, this is last week. Still have the weekend, um, and some of these things I think need to get done, like pack. That has to happen anyway. Christmas gifts, I can might be able to get work on in the car. I just need to like, probably it would be a good idea to do that in the car because then we can talk about it. So that's all that's left. That's great. Look at this film playing with me. Here I am. So I'm getting stuff done as we speak. Um, it's also here. I've been doing a lot of my day to day planning on dailies, which are a mess and not really, yeah, getting done either, but those I'm not like decorating. And today, this is the part, if you're here for the decorating part, where we do that. I have not really been going for a specific theme uh, color-wise. I think this month kind of, oh, these birds. I could probably include some of these birds. Brown and green, really? Yeah. Maybe a little purple. So this is, is this my birthday week? This is my birthday week. So I guess that means I can break out all my favorite washi tapes or something. Um, let me do a purple that doesn't go with the birds. Um, this, it doesn't feel particularly fall-like. If you hear it in my voice, I, uh, my pregnancy rhinitis has morphed into full-blown, like, allergy nose congestion stuff. So, that's happening. Sunflowers, it is not sunflower season. Let me grab some stickers and washi tape. Okay, these are the washi tapes that were in my purse. And I actually kind of like the. It feels a little National Parks. Um, these birds are from The Little Red House. She is on Instagram. She's on, I think, Etsy. Or she, does she have her own website? I don't know. Um... She does some really cute stationary stuff. I'm thinking that this might just fit these two boxes that I had plans for and didn't really ever use the last week. Yeah. All right. Let's do this. Alright, so that has a theme to it. I think that looks pretty good. Maybe I'll toss one extra, like, uh, to-do sticker at the top here or something. Or this week. I just had the thought that maybe um, I would use the right column here with the check boxes to put date-specific tasks next to things, but I don't know, maybe not. This, this sheet is particularly bad about being difficult to detach. The section between this and week is kind of stuck to the paper. So it can be a little bit of work. Some are better than others. Um, let me see. This week. Here we go. So this one's my birthday. I know I have um, noon pickup at the school and I don't usually do pickups usually the babysitter does but I can 
so I will. Hey guys, sorry my camera battery died. I um, it, it always shows the wrong amount of time remaining and suddenly it was like almost gone. So I just wanted to wrap this video up because there wasn't much left to do. I just tossed a couple of things um, that are happening mostly like on the weekend, a couple of to-dos, which I did put in this column according to the day that they're next to. So, and then I also added one more thing to this list in the front. Um, so I'm going to try that using a separate weekly to-do list that's not like on my weekly and see if that helps keep my brain a little bit more clear. Um, but that's, that's it. That's a bit of a, not really much of a preview of the coming week of content, but I can't believe it. It's the plan with me already I like I always say I can't believe it but the end of the month does tend to sneak up on you even though you know it's Thanksgiving next week here so that's actually when the video is going out so yeah if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving that's fine because you will still have a video to watch if you subscribe and ring the bell so I will see you guys in the next video on Thanksgiving Day um, and in the meantime thank you so much um, and yeah subscribe if you haven't already and love you guys Bye.